Okay, we have twin integrals on the spot, and which one do you guys think is easier? Both of them have the cotangent x, but this one has the cosecant x right here as well. Hmm. In fact, this one is easier, because all we have to do is knowing the fact that the derivative of some function is actually very similar to this. And the answer to the following is that we need to know the derivative of cosecant x. This right here gives us negative cosecant x cotangent x, right? So in another word, this right here is just going to be you bring the negative to right here. So you get negative cosecant x and you're done, plus c. So the integral of cosecant x times cotangent x dx is negative cosecant x plus c and we're done. Well, how can we find the integral of cotangent x dx then? Hmm, I don't think I have a lot to work with at the moment, but why don't we look at that as sine and cosine, right? And that's the usual strategy, and let's see how that is going to be. Okay, this is going to be the integral, and remember, cotangent x is what? This is the same as cosine x over sine x, and then you have the dx. And now we have more things to work with. Remember, sometimes when we do integrals, the more the better. Right here, I'm actually going to do a u substitution. I will let u equal the denominator, which is sine x. Because when I differentiate this, I get du equal the derivative of sine x is cosine x dx. And you see, this is exactly on the top. And if you want to see a cancellation, you can isolate the dx and divide the cosine x on both sides, you get du over cosine x. So you can take this integral to the u world, you get integral cosine x over sine x is my u, and then dx is du over cosine x. And you see, this right here is the best part, because cosine x, cosine x cancel each other out. So we are just integrating 1 over u, du. And what's the answer for this? Natural log, right? Natural log, absolute value of u. And in order for you guys to go back to the x world, take a look that u is sine x. So the final answer is natural log, absolute value of sine x. And keep in mind, sine x can be negative sometimes, so you do have to maintain the absolute value. But all in all, we are done. So you put a plus C, and that's it right here.